Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Big Arc. Happy New Year's to everyone. Hopefully you have a great 2021. I'm going to start the year off right with a video that I want to do to kind of keep track of my characters throughout the expansion and throughout 2021. So today I'm going to be going over a character list and kind of all the progression that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to cover in more videos in the future so maybe once a month i'll do a video like this where i showcase my characters kind of talk about where they're at and maybe if you enjoy kind of tracking that statistical stuff you'll enjoy it too so we are also close to hitting that 1000 subs and we're doing a wow token giveaway at a thousand subs we're also going to be doing a giveaway every single thousand subs we hit so that's another milestone a cool thing to reach hopefully within the next couple days we can hit it and i will drop another video talking about the winner and hopefully i'll have an alt at max level where i can just make another class guide to do it with without further ado we're going to get into the video we're going to start at zanger marsh so right here i have a character grizak with the level squish he is now level 40 i played this guy a whole lot back in missa pandaria and the warlords of draenor pre-patch so once like that first squish kind of hit and the numbers kind of went down this is the guy that i was playing with he was my boost back then for pre-ordering that expansion but since then i've played another warlock and i'll get into that later but kind of he just sits on this account i don't have many plans of playing him but he does have green fire that's kind of why i don't want to delete him and i just have a, a little bit of time on him so just to keep him there is kind of cool that's it just for this realm i kind of consolidated all my players or all my characters onto two main realms that are together and they're uh cross-connected I guess is the word and yeah so these two basically coincide together we're gonna go to Lightbringer um, as you can see here pretty pathetic I have Boston Pizza so in Canada this is where I work at and I don't know I was just bored tired of thinking of names so this is what I came up with uh, you can probably see a common theme in this video I have this stupid transmog just because on any alts I just think it's super cool to level it up but basically I leveled him up um, a while back i think even if you check in my wow character list video from like 2017 when i was like 16 years old you can totally see that i have him under a different name called stab and jab he was from bleeding hollow basically uh when i transfer him over to this server is because i want to do a lot of raiding dungeons with him or whatever and that was in legion and i didn't touch him too much after that and now i'm just working on getting him to level 60 eventually so hopefully one day he will get there but right now he just sits on this realm alone. Uh, next is my ally race farm, so Dwarf Hunter. He's in Exiles Retrain now, but basically I've played all Horde my whole life. And I kind of just want to get the new allied races. I mean, if you look into my character selection screen, you can see that there's literally none for the Alliance. And pretty much all the Horde is covered, so I'm just working on him in my super free time. But I also have a bunch of alts I'm leveling, so I haven't gotten to him too much lately. That's it for Lightbringer, so it's pretty chill in that realm. And then for Dark Spear, I used to play on this realm a lot, basically on this Druid. Back in Mist of Pandaria too, I think I have maybe like 14 days on this Druid, so... God, I sound like a nerd when I say that out loud, considering this is someone I'd never play anymore. I wish I could get those 14 days back, maybe doing something differently. Uh, but she is a Resto Druid, and a whole lot of fun. I'm actually leveling up another Druid right now that's Horde on my main server, so I'm going to be playing him a lot more when it comes to Resto. But basically, yeah, she just got the Legion Artifact and all that. I think I leveled her to 110 and then stopped, so just for leveling purposes, that's what I got her to. And then I have Mature, he's just a Hunter. I hate how Pan Pandaren looks, so I just don't even touch this guy anymore. He's probably going to sit at level 42. I might delete him in the future, I don't know. I have a Hunter that I've been leveling up to, so that's more in the juicy content. Um, these are just kind of like the primers. You probably won't even see them next video, depending on how I record it or when I record it. But um, yeah, that's it for Dark Spirit. Now, we're going to get into Shadow Council and then Blackwater Raiders. So these two realms are connected and you can cross realm interact with the characters on these realms. I believe it's with the Cenarian Circle too that you can do it with, but I don't play on that realm at all. So we're going to start with Shadow Council. This is going to be pretty good because these are the realms I actually pay attention to. So Hawk Casserole. Uh, don't really play him, but I just boosted him up when Demon Hunters became a thing before the Legion drop. I think it was in the pre-patch or something like that, so not too, too much. I mean, I used to gold farm on him because he had, like, uh, the rank 3 Dream Leaf, and it was super easy to just go to this one spot and just, uh, you know, like, herb skin kind of the mobs down. Um, it was like these uh, Treants, Trents, whatever you call them. 
you were able to skin them and then with the rank 3 dream leaf you get a whole bunch of dream leaf out of it and i think you even got like boes too i got like two boes which is really really cool really good for gold um but that's pretty much for him i don't do a whole lot on him we're gonna go to random owns so this was my second character ever so i started playing world of warcraft in the burden crusade because my dad got me interested in it and then i leveled up a hunter and then once i hit level 55 totally wrath of the lich king rolled around by then so once i saw the ability to make a death knight i was like oh shit like i gotta hop on this like this wave is gonna be so cool and then i played him the most all the way until mr pandaria when i switched over until monk and druid and i've just kind of been leveling up as an alt lately like i did some pvp when i was max level on him um two expansions ago so in legion but i rarely touch this guy anymore and it sucks because he has like 30 days play time on him which is uh, such a waste now I think about it. but I mean I was a kid right so fuck it I'm 20 years old now it's all good uh, I have Dundress right now I'm leveling him up you can see the transmog is a common theme he's a fury warrior hopefully in the next video I'll have some more levels on him but I'm having a whole bunch of fun with him uh, in the last couple expansions I played him for PvP didn't really do a whole bunch of PvE content but honestly just the look of the two giant swords you can hold his fury is just good enough for me I just love it and the sweet transmogs you can pull out are I know, ah, fuck, I say that, but really this transmog sucks ass because every single person has this transmog. All you have to do is just buy the expansion and then kill a bunch of people. It looks cool and it ties in really well, but since everyone has it, it's not really unique, so I'm not proud to show it off of my characters. But honestly, a lot of my alts have it just because it looks cool to level up with. I know I said that, but every time I get to a new character and he has this transmog, I just feel like I should fucking bring it up, but whatever. This is the swords that I have. Uh, Nether Bane is a cool axe there. So, I don't know. I was kind of crossed between the two, so I said fuck it and just did both. I got Robitussin, that syrup, pulling up that purple shit inside my cut. Okay, I'm just kidding, but uh, basically that purple mog leveled him up. He used to be... Uh, I boosted him as a horde, like, years, years, years ago when boost first came out. He was a blood elf, and then I switched him to night elf, and I switch him back to Blood Elf. Right now he's Arcane. Uh, it's a decent little mod. I think it's like not any set or anything, but it's just a whole bunch of purple shit put together. He's really fun to play. He was gold farming a lot for me back in the last expansion. And yeah, not too much to say besides that. Hopefully I'll get some levels on him in the future just because I know Mage is kind of OP at the moment. And I mean, my end goal is to make those class guides for every single spec and just upgrade it as every patch goes on. So, I mean, if you haven't seen any of my class guides yet, I have it on my channel as a playlist, and there's a whole bunch that maybe you might pique your interest. So I've covered Shadow Priest, Disc Priest, you know, all the monk specs, stuff like that. But that's pretty much it for Shadow Council. We're gonna get into the main realm that I play on, which is Blackwater Raiders. Uh, I've always played on this realm since I was a kid, so that's just what I stuck with. So, not to spoil too much here, but we're gonna start with Halleck. So, He's a level 49 shaman, leveling him up at the moment. I don't, I can't say that he's ever been max level at any single expansion. It's just someone that I've played on the side. And I mean, I want to get him to max level just because I want to have all the healers at max level and just kind of do some content with them. I mean, I feel like patch 9.1 isn't going to come out until maybe like February or March. So I definitely got some time to level him up, get a legendary on him, start raiding, you know, stuff like that. Um, currently have a, maybe a couple days played on him just because of that's like the leveling thing but i bet you it's not even that much like i bet you it's maybe a day day and a half so he's really cool really fun to play i have it where his skin looks super cool he looks like a sand fury troll if you played enough wow you know what that is it's like the ones in uh Tenaris, kind of by that uh gadget sand area you know like you'll see those mobs where it's just like they have like the sand colored skin and then with the war paint it looks pretty cool too broken tusk so i like how that turned out and his mog is just a pvp set minus the hands and then i think these are from black rock foundry these weapons so uh he looks pretty cool just the contrast between the blue and red uh, i have mighty stomp here fuck he used to have a super cool hammer it was like the legion artifact appearance but he's basically in all i have i'm leveling up as ret right now I think he's always been Rhett. I've just kind of had him as like a twos player just because Rhett has always been pretty unstoppable. Always been DPS, but I may switch him to Holy because I want all those healers and just to kind of play with Holy just to see what goes on with it. He's uh, doing Threads of Fate, so I think I can get him up pretty quick. I mean, I've done a couple Threads of Fate characters and it's not too, too bad, but um, 
hopefully it goes up quick. I want all these guys to be level 60 and at least somewhat geared by the time you see the next video. So stay tuned because I think as the video progression goes on in this kind of series I want to do, I want to do like beginning of every month, kind of a showcase of everything and maybe some statistics. So, I mean, if you guys want to see like what item level they are, how much progression they've cleared, I might just be able to edit in like a little bit of like progression on the side and like what item level they currently are just afterwards. So that might be a really, really cool idea just to see how I've played every character. I can even do like a played time stat too, uh, which might interest some people, but you know, I'm open to all things. So if you want to see some shit like that, just leave it in the comments. I'll be open to doing all that. I have my Druid that I'm leveling up. So Pretty sure he just has a PvP set too, and then Scythe of Loon artifact, uh, fucking appearance. So, pardon for the language, by the way. It's just super late at night, and yeah, um, leveling up as I think Feral right now. So it's okay. I mean, I kind of want to make that Resto Druid thing a thing. I leveled him up um, last expansion once I got the Allied races for Zandalari trolls, and then didn't really touch him i leveled him up as feral but again i want to switch him to resto to kind of have all the healer healers at max level um but that's pretty much all about him just a couple days played time on him haven't done any progression in the last expansion bfa or shadowlands so kind of just sitting there just an alt hoping to get him to 60 pretty soon i have drail it's pronounced derail but i was like a little kid so um this is one of the og characters i had from back in the day He's just been switched around a whole lot, so he used to be like a jumble of characters. Like I think it was like R S A J H something like that. Like I literally just rolled my fingers along the keyboard. And he was a troll hunter, and then when I was like 12 or 13, I think I saved up enough money to like race change him over, and he's just been derail ever since. But you know, he read his drail, so it's no big deal. I've had him for a long ass time, and I'm just leveling up now. Uh, he is marksmanship, and right now I can say they do so much damage. So. I mean, I've been playing on my friend's account too, so I have a hunter on there. You've probably seen the videos, but this is my main hunter on my account. So hopefully I'll get him up to 60 and it'll be that same caliber that I have on my friend's account. From there, I got my boy LeBron, the goat. You see him here. He's got that purple mug. Just kidding. I think the pants were changed out, but pretty much I just have not enough cloth transmog. I don't have a bunch of transmog at all, so I just made what I could with this appearance and just kind of, you know, like the Sand Fury troll skin look, and then I put purple body paint on him. So that's really, really cool. He's level 55, I think almost level 56. This was the guy that I was talking about that I subbed out my OG Warlock for. He doesn't have green fire, and I don't want to pay the $30,000 for the book, but eventually I want to start raiding with this guy just because Warlocks are super cool. Right now he's Destruction, but I want to switch him over to Affliction. Uh, I've never played Affliction in my life, so once I get familiar with that, I will probably make a guide on it, but... You know, main focus is getting him to 60 at the moment, just gearing him up. So that would be really, really cool. Um, then I got my boy Chud Nugget. So this was my main for a long, 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 long ass time. So ever since Mr. Pandaria came out, I'm going to give you a little side story, a little anecdote, some progression here. I started with my Hunter, and then once he was level 55, I started with my Death Knight. Once Mr. Pandaria came out, I immediately was like, yo monk so i started him as a panda and leveled him up to level 90 max level and he was horde always like i switched back and forth from horde and alliance maybe like four or five times just for rating purposes but anyway so he was pandaren and then troll and then dwarf and then pandaren and then troll again and now he's a maghar orc so i've always played mistweaver on him i think this guy has the most amount of play time i think he literally has like 40 days played on him i always had a whole bunch of healing on him in the past but right now he's windwalker just because i feel like mistweaver kind of sucks ass right now like i go oom so quick maybe that's because i haven't been utilizing it to its full potential but you know he's about like 174 item level so i mean it'd be cool to kind of keep track over the months in one year from now just to see the item level on the side here but I have a lot of fun with Monk. Hopefully I don't abandon him completely, but I am going to get into my Priest, which is my main. So you can see that I have two Priests, which is kind of a fuck up. I have Finesse. He is my only Alliance character that I pretty much play. I'm leveling him up right now um, as Venthyr, but that's because I made the mistake of making my main Necrolord. And I know that for Shadow Priest, Venthyr is totally the best. So I'm just kind of leveling up the second one just to make up for the fact that I have the Necrolord one. So I've been grinding this out. You can see he has that 
shitty transmog too and this cool staff i think that's the imperator staff or whatever it's called so really really cool transmog i like that staff i can't believe i got it first time i farmed it but stormwind helm just because i got tired of the look he's probably going to be my main uh, i hate to say that because i hate playing alliance but he's probably going to be my main once he hits level 60 just because this guy isn't the right covenant i know it's probably super easy to change but i just want to have it set in stone so who knows i might reverse i might even change finesse to horde just like transfer him uh faction change him so i know it's a waste of money especially because i already have a horde priest but i kind of want to be topping those dps charts kind of have the best overall like best in slot setup so um i don't want to make that mistake again so that leads me to k packs here this is my current main he is 197 item level he is a shadow priest and currently i've been having so much fun this expansion with priest in general so no matter what kind of spec you are i haven't played holy but i've played shadow priest and discipline as my off spec i've been able to pump out crazy damage in aoe fights because of my necrolord covenant ability just that extra dot it puts on and with searing nightmare i mean if you want to go see the video and how i have it set up you can see in my most recently new and updated shadow priest guide i have some raid footage at the end where i think it's just huntsman ultimore but still like that single target i'm able to push out like 6k steady and without a problem like i can mess up keybinds whatever it's very forgiving so i've been having a whole bunch of fun with shadow priest uh my main here has about 20 days played on him now he was my uh kind of go-to in warlords of draenor i started playing with this guy a lot and then uh from then i was able to just kind of you know switch him around move him around he used to be alliance uh, which is kind of funny because now I have an Alliance Priest, but he used to be Alliance, now he's Horde, and I have a whole bunch of fun with him. Undead is kind of the best in slot for PvP too, so he's super, super cool at, uh, you know, playing with all that. So, overall, these have been my characters. Let me know if you guys are even interested in seeing this. I want to update these, uh, videos kind of like at the end of every month, uh, beginning of every month makes more sense, I guess. So, beginning of February, I'm going to post the next one. Maybe have like a little bit of item level, uh, edited in here. And then like the progression that i have on each character so hopefully that's a thing hopefully that's something you guys enjoy let me know in the comments happy new year again we are so close to hitting that thousand sub mark so uh we'll be doing the wow token giveaway probably in the next video thank you all so much for watching it's been your boy big arc i'll see you in the next video and peace